the Fire Mage. The orcs of the Dark Mountains have been using elemental fire magic in their raids. Balor, the Fire Mage, is thought to be responsible for helping them. No fire magic can harm Balor, and the king's wizards are unable to counter his spells. You have therefore been chosen to enter his lair deep beneath Darkfire Crag. His Majesty offers each hero a reward of a hundred gold coins for Balor's destruction. Welcome back to RP Gamepire, and right now the heroes are seeking out a fire mage. Under the request of His Majesty, they will be all paid handsomely a hundred gold each, risking their lives against a fire mage but then again the heroes have become much much more powerful than they have before when they started the campaign and now they're seeking out this fire mage who's hiding in dark mountains which where the orcs have came and raided the villages and towns and cities and etc so let's go hunting as they say now this is the heroes the heroes are right here and we're gonna have before anything, we're going to have Izar do a little search. He's going to seek out what's going on. Oh, it's gold. Nothing special. Gold, gold, gold. We're going to add it. You know, as they share the loot, we're going to share it. And we're going to do it with... I'm going to put all this... Okay, you know what? That's not right. It's... Let's put it properly on Izar, 25 gold. Sorry for that, Izar. And now moving on, he's going to roll. And I don't think he's much fears for what, not that he, a barbarian ever fears anything, but he's at this point at four attack dice and four defend dice, and he's pretty strong. So he's gonna roll an amazing four. Heavy headed one, two, three, and he's gonna open the door. All right, he's gonna open it and he's gonna put himself out there. There you go. So now that he did that, uh, moving right along, and I'm sorry for that, that was right here. Eyes are so, eyes are right here, and we're having technical difficulties. Alright, so Izar is right there. Hmm. And more importantly, let's see. Um, okay, let's go for the focus on the heroes here. Alright, so what else? Now it's going to be Alda. And Alda will. S Sorry, it was a slow start. Welcome to RP Gamepire. So says Alda. And we're gonna try to get out here. And she's gonna make a run for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as she comes here, she kinda takes notice that there is a lurking, ugly looking zombie. And Let's see, and this is the zombie that's lurking right about here. Ha ha ha. And Alda at this point searches for traps and... Hmm. What do you know? Uh, amazingly so. Okay, there's a blockage right here, so they can't go this way. The heroes must go this way. And there's no traps in sight, so says Zargon. And smirking as so. All right, so moving right along. Now it is. Mm, you know what? Nah, we're not interested to seek. Go racing. Six, one, two, three, four, five, and he's just gonna lurk right here. Now it's. Well, we're just gonna remember that Wisp is now in demon form, and she rolls seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. All right. Now it's Zargon's turn, and that ugly-looking zombie is gonna try to attack Alda. You're gonna hate a woman. Um. Okay. 
So the zombie attacks, as we remember, has two attack dice and three defense dice. But right now it's attacking, so let's see how well that does. Hmm. And it does two damage. Now, Alda has four defense dice. If you remember, Alda... Where is Alda? Alda... Oh, she has five defense dice. Because she has... Borm armor and she has bracer. Oh boy. Uh, that's pathetic, but he she defends on those two damages. You could see that. Right? So she survives that attack. Well, that's ends for Zargon. And having a defense of five kind of made a difference there. That's amazing, by the way. Alright. And we're in quest. Alright. So now it's back to the heroes. And Izar, without delay, will make a run for it. Eight. One, two, three, four. And stop right here. And now it's going to be Alda's turn. And Alda will take a swing. And does three damage. Don't forget. Uh, the defense dice for a zombie is 3, so the zombie could, in theory, defend. And it, oh, painfully, it doesn't. With its one vitality, and gets eliminated. Happily so, by Alda. Alda will make a run for it. And 7 it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Who do we appreciate? Izar. Uh, it is going to be Raceland's turn. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and sorry for that, eight right here, and this is Wisp, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, now it's Zargon's turn, Zargon cannot do anything at this point, but the heroes down the hallway, they see a room, down in the dungeon right down there while the heroes look down the hallway Izar sees and he notices from a distance that pretty much there's a zombie lurking there and, and pretty much hmm well Izar is going to make a move and he's going to pretty much verify for traps and Zargon warns there's a trap right beside the door right here all right, so it's good to know. And Izar moves one and two and stays at two because Rayson's right there. And Rayson will try to make a move. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aldo will run it in. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And now it's whispering. 11 and she's just gonna wisp over here and now it is Zargon's turn and Zargon will well pretty much that zombie will move and the zombie can only move five slow as it is one two three four five it will stop right here hmm. I don't know why first time ever the heroes do not feel threatened so that's four again for Izar oh boy Izar one two three four and we're gonna get Alda running in and she storms right in and takes a wild swing at this zombie and who managed to defend herself but not swing very well so that ends that and whiffs cannot do much because Alda's in the way and neither can Raceland and again he moves slow so now the zombie of Zargon pretty much will attack and he attacks with two and does a no wow okay nothing happening here Izer wanna show uh, oh okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's moving in Aldo will try again swing the axe and she does three damage and the zombie defends with three and that doesn't manage to defend at all. This zombie horribly dies. 
and that pretty much ends that life and the heroes nine so he's gonna move right beside and don't forget zargon said there's a trap right here so hmm now it's gonna be wisp turn seven and she will move right here zargon's turn zargon can't do anything Izar will try to rush right here and that's what he did with a nine and raceland three three one right there uh right there yes um and wow that kind of ends it there it's kind of going slow for the heroes uh understandably so so you know what alda i mean alda doesn't want to wait and alda feels brave and she doesn't need eyes around she feels very grumble grumpy i should say and she senses something's on the door she says i want to open the door well as she opens the door to her surprise the fire mage is right there this can go really haywire and this could be the shortest quest ever if the heroes play this right because this a villain or mini boss can pretty much cast spells dread spells of his own so they have to be wary so now that all does open the door she will try to walk it in and she will with five and she'll come right here and she'll take a swing at this ugly looking skeleton okay and we could end the life right here and that's three damage and by the way the skeletons only defend with two so because there's three damage there's no point to roll for any defense so this skeleton uh, dies and all that is just open the doorway and let's not forget uh, this fire mage has only f oh wow defense at five okay so let's see what it can do because Izar is coming through okay and Izar no worries whatsoever will come right beside the fire mage and doesn't care for the skellies around and he's gonna take a big risk and chance is gonna try to attack and horrible horrible my god eyes are swings and misses totally so this didn't go too well so now hmm the heroes will take a big chance and we're gonna have yes we're gonna have raceland just managed to squeeze right here and get a bird eye view of this ugly looking and he will cast a spell but no fire spell can ever damage this fire mage so raceland will cast the spell of sleep and to, it will temporarily freeze that fire mage where it is and the spell can be casted on any monster except mummies zombies and skeletons and in this case seems fine with me here and that villain will sleep now we're gonna get wisp to come in and she's gonna move in easily at six right here all right and she's gonna take a chance to getting hit here don't forget and she rolls three and she rolls two damage okay two damage and now that he is asleep this fire mage but this fire mage can still defend so and defends at with five dices and doesn't defend only once and and takes one damage okay and don't forget the fire mage has three three body points so okay so now we're gonna deal with the skellies first the skelly that skelly is gonna attack raceland and the skellies attack for two and it did one damage okay and raceland defends for three i believe because raceland has the cloak it has a cloak and defends for three so let's see there was one damage against it and phew, it takes one damage great raceland i love it a mage that cannot defend himself all right so now that does for that this kelly will move in actually he will stay here and attack turn and attack wisp 
with his two dice and does one damage and was defends with two dice and does defend and against that one damage so she's fine good to know good to know now this one he will just move in and attack alda with his that's it two damage alda defends with four dice don't forget no sorry five dice and alda easily defends all right not easily but she defends so don't forget there's one damage still um, on the fire mage. Now the fire mage for him, he must roll a six to break the spell that Rayson put on on him, and he is stuck. So this quest can end really quickly because from the dread spells that the fire mage is able to do, it can teleport himself away from danger. And at this point, well, we have him sleeping. So. And he has failed, and Zargon <laughs> can't help him. So race, uh, we're gonna have Izar actually go at it again, and he does one damage. Wow. Okay, that's incredible. All right, and doesn't defend, so that's two damage. Oof. Alda can do it right now and end this. End this shortest quest at one damage. One damage. Let's see does five defense and defends very well so it survives the fire mage now it's whisper whips rolls three because whip do not get damage and she does also one damage so let's see this and it doesn't defend ladies and gentlemen wisp has slaughtered the fire mage the fire mage was not able to cast any spells. The fire mage was not able to take any action. The heroes have stormed the room, obliterated whatever was there, enough to handle the fire mage directly as a team effort. They have accomplished the quest and completed uh, the quest. So the heroes have ventured further into the dungeon catacomb labyrinth and they managed to get to this room. And right now that they have gotten to this room, they are going to search, and they have searched, thanks to Izar. And Izar have found something great for Raceland, which is the Wand of Magic, hiding in that room, aside from the 150 gold. Ah, uh, where is Izar? Okay, so the 150 uh, gold and now Raceland will have the wand of magic and it's not like the heroes are in such jeopardy that they have obtained a powerful artifact that allows a hero to cast two separate and different spells on their turn instead of the single spell by the way you do still lose the spell but you're able to blast away so like you could cast two fire spells that could do up to three damage and that could take pretty much any of the good solid monsters we've so far met so this has just made Raceland even more powerful so he's not gonna use his staff anymore but instead he's gonna have his amazing wand of magic Okay, and he still has to use his staff to attack, but again, it's not the greatest of solid weapons. Now, every hero will obtain 100 gold for their good deed, and thank you very much. All right, and tempted as they are to go shopping, uh, they will skip on that. Instead, they'll focus on uh, the next quest because this one has ventured uh, very quickly. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And I hope you like uh, the short and sweet adventures of Izar, Alda, Wisp, and Raceland. Amazing heroes. Amazing quests.